Robertson defines globalization as the simultaneous compression of the world and the intensification of consciousness about the world as a unified entity. Departing from empirical generalizations and emphasizing sociological mapping, Robertson's approach delves into the historical role of sociology in shaping global awareness. While empirical data are infrequent, the book serves as a comprehensive survey of how sociologists have tackled the subject. Sociologists, according to Robertson, have played a crucial role in grappling with globality and contributing to the understanding of global interactions. The analyses offered by Robertson add depth to the book revolves around four key focal points. National societies, individuals, international relations within the global framework, and the concept of humankind. Robertson illustrates how these elements are intricately entwined in intense global interactions. Globalism, as discussed by Robertson, fosters both the particularization of the universal and the universalization of the particular. It has diverse effects, including nostalgic anti-globalism, heightened gender awareness, increased individualism, and influence on intellectual trends like modernism and postmodernism. Additionally, it challenges ideologically based interpretations, with Robertson expressing reservations about Wallerstein's world systems theory. Displaying an open-minded approach, Robertson advocates for a multidisciplinary perspective, aiming to transcend narrow viewpoints. In specific chapters, Robertson provides factual references, such as the exploration of Japanese globality and religion. He suggests that Japan is of sociological interest, as it serves a role in the contemporary world, where other societies' leaders can learn how to learn about diverse societies. While this claim may be open to debate, Robertson also highlights Japan's unique ability to assimilate foreign elements like Confucianism, Buddhism, and Western skills, into its indigenous continuities. Occasionally, he presents snippets of evidence, including a mention of awareness raising tourism as a significant global industry. In conclusion, Robertson commends sociology for its potential major role in theorizing globality and globalization. However, the use of highly abstract and verbose sociological jargon, coupled with extensive discussions of sociological disputes, makes the book challenging and controversial. Historians might contest the implicit assumption that sociological theories and concepts played a major role in globalization, arguing that power politics and invidious comparisons among states and individuals were more decisive factors. The multidisciplinary approach lacks completeness, overlooking crucial factors like geography and population density. The profound cultural disorientation in developing countries is also not addressed, while Western countries still benefit from cultural continuity. Robertson acknowledges the complexity of globalism, but may overlook crucial evidence supporting alternative views, such as world history as a process of global westernization.